hi i'm rahul and in this tutorial we will learn about a package called ggplot2 that ggplot2 means such grammar of graphics plot2 this package basically used for plotting of graphs or making it interactive uh, making it plots and this uh, package basically used for uh, plotting very aesthetically beautiful plots that you can use directly in your thesis or in your uh, papers or articles writing this ggplot using this ggplot2 package you can uh, either plot uh, line plots bar plots or scatter plots and any combination and uh, different group data uh, group data uh, you can uh, plot in uh, groups so this package is very um, one of the most uh, uh, most um, useful package that you can directly use for your uh, graphical representation of data so this ggplot2 basically uh, consists of two parts one is aesthetic mapping and another is geometric object the aesthetic mapping means uh, the first part is aesthetic mapping that means uh, you can imagine it as a uh, open canvas or op a paper in which you can plot either what would be in x axis or what data you represent in to x axis and what data you want to represent in y axis and what kind of uh, group data you want to plot uh, using fields in, uh, in, in next uh, i will just show you what is actually the aesthetic mapping means and the next is geometric object to represent your data in x and y axis you have to use certain geometric objects maybe shapes or square shapes or round shapes or a line or a bar that will represent your data uh, what it conveys whether it's a uh, and it also shows the trend of the data if you use the scatter plot then it will show the trend how the scatters look like whether there is a positive relationship or there is a negative relationships even using bar plots so you can show what is the frequency or what is the different quantity available in your variables you can represent um, in that way so let's start with the ggplot2 in to install the ggplot2 use the install dot packages uh, and inside the parenthesis in quotation so you give ggplot2 and if you press control enter then it automatically install it i have already installed so so i'm not going to install this package so to use that package you have to import that use the library function and inside the parenthesis give the package name ggplot2 and press control enter it will load your package in this tutorial uh, to give you a uh, first simplest view of ggplot2 i'm using the inbuilt data set bod you can uh, directly import that data set it is inbuilt in r okay so r programming so use the data function and inside the parenthesis use the bod capital in capital and press control enter it will load the data here and if you want to view that data use the view function ca with the capital v okay view inside the parenthesis give the data set name bod and press control enter it will show you the data the data consists of two variables one is time and another is demand if you see the time there is six is missing okay after five there is a seven and if you check the structure of that data use the str function and inside the parenthesis give the bod data set name and press control enter it will show you that time is a numeric numeric okay it is a continuous and demand is also numeric if you plot both numeric or continuous variable then it will also plot the six value you um, let's such create first so i'm talking about the aesthetic mapping to create the aesthetic mapping first you have to use the ggplot function and inside the ggplot function first you have to give the data set name the data set name is bod in capital with comma use the mapping function what you want to map in x and y axis it will come under this so inside mapping with equal to give the aes function or aesthetic function so aesthetically what you want to give in x axis y axis and what you want to fill if you are using a group of data so in x axis i am giving the time and in y axis i am giving the uh, uh, demand okay and this is the aesthetic mapping if you press control enter it will provide a blank plot here is the demand in y axis and x axis there is a time and it is a blank blank 
plot okay so it is like open canvas in which you will put certain geometric objects maybe a line graph maybe a uh, dotted plots or uh, scatter plots or maybe a bar graph whatever you need as per your requirement you can plot here based on the data and requirement so after that let's say i want to put some it's geometric let's say i want to put bar so after giving a plus sign press enter it will uh, come to the uh, next line because i don't have large space to show uh, all the syntax so in next line i'm you have to provide the geometric objects say i want to uh, plot a gra bar plot okay so use the geom underscore bar function and inside the parenthesis use the stat equal to identity so stat argument consists of lots uh, large type of statistical or stat related uh, plotting mechanism so we are using the identity that only plot the bar plot and no other th uh, other such funny things it will do and if you want to go more detail uh, we will also uh, in future videos show how this stat function can be used for other kind of plotting okay so now you can give uh, press the control enter and it will show you the plot here is the plot so as we are using the continuous variable in time though there is no variable available in six still it has provided that six value in x axis to uh, get rid of this six you have to convert that time to a factor or a discrete variable and to do this you can again use the ggplot function and inside the parenthesis give the data equal to bod and mapping in mapping argument equal to aesthetic as and under that aesthetic in x we are given the time here use the factor and inside the parenthesis give the time so we are converting the time into factor and plotting into the x and in comma same demand in y axis plus geom underscore bar stat equal to identity same just we have changed that time into a factor and now if you press control enter you will see there is six is now gone okay and due to conversion to the factor now you can see the plot is continuous and there is no blank space so sometimes uh, we want to change the aesthetic view like here the default is gray color but some person will not like that color and want to modify or customize this color and ggplot to also provide that kind of facility you can customize as per your own requirement what color you want to fill and what kind of aesthetic mapping you want to do with your data so here again i'm filling it with a light blue color and also providing a black outline over the bars okay so outline means this this outline at the outer side of each bar so use the ggplot function give the data again bod and mapping with comma mapping equal to aesthetic in x you give the factor convert the factor uh, that convert the time to a factor and y is equal to demand plus in geom underscore bar again we are giving static equal to identity and with comma use the fill argument fill equal to we are giving the light blue and comma color that the outline of that outline of that bar color equal to black so if you press control enter you can see now the color is now light blue the fill color and outer there is a black outline so it is quite aesthetically more beautiful than the earlier graph so next is how we can plot a group data or if you have a data which a large number of variables and you want to group those such data and want to plot and want to view or compare at that case you can also do uh, using the dodge that means the group uh, each variables or each uh, variables or common variable group should be plotted simultaneously one after another or you can use the stack function that one variable above another and if you have more variables then that would be above another and showing it such a particular frequency or values so here i'm uh, creating an uh, variable called experiment okay and using the data dot frame i'm creating a data frame in which i first variable or column name is experiment underscore type 
so it is the experiment type and under vector i am giving experiment 1 again experiment 1 experiment 2 and experiment 2 and date another variable with comma date is inside a vector january 7 january 14 january 7 january 14 so experiment 1 and experiment this 2 are january 7 january 7 and experiment 1 and experiment 2 this experiment 1 and experiment 2 in january 14 and january 14 we have measured an average speed of vehicles using a laser gun or a ra uh, radar gun uh, to measure the uh, speed of different vehicles or spot speed and here is the average speed of each day experiment okay we have may have uh, taken uh, sample of 60 or 70 and take the average of speeds of different kind of vehicles and we got that kind of speed just assume the speed underscore kmph is the speed in kmph and under the vec vector 65 40 75 and 45 for each experiment and each date if you press control enter it will save under the experiment and if you want to see the structure go to the structure of that data set you will see that experiment underscore type is a factor because experiment and experiment two two types of labels are there so two labels date also two labels and factor and speed is a numeric numeric data or continuous variable here okay so next let's such a plot uh, based on a group like two experiment a group experiment one and experiment two uh, one after another in dodge from what is dodge uh, when i plot that one you will able to see that so again ggplot function and data is here now experiment and with mapping equal to aesthetic under aesthetic x in x axis we are i am plotting the date in y axis i am plotting the speed and in fill i am giving the experiment type so it will plot two types of experiment experiment one and experiment two in dodge form one after another and after plus use the geom underscore bar okay and give under that stat equal to identity and comma how this two pair of data will look like so here I, we are give, i'm giving that position equal to inside the quotation dodge that means it will plot one after another one after another each variable so press control enter now you can see that january 14 and january 17 uh, january 7 in date and speed in y-axis and here is the legend experiment underscore type in experiment one and experiment two the experiment one is red and experiment two in that green okay so in uh, dodge to make a dodge plot or a dodge bar plot uh, you can uh, use that syntax and get your uh, bars in the dodge form so let's say this um, uh, fill color is not that much appealing and if you want to change that to fill color you can do in two ways either with a inbuilt some palettes it called palettes or a group of colors or using the manual method to change the default fill color either use scale underscore fill underscore brewer that is the inbuilt it will take the inbuilt as a palette combinations or color combinations and use uh, the scale underscore fill underscore manual it will manually fill the color so first i'm using the scale underscore fill underscore brewer so again use the same ggplot use the data equal to experiment comma mapping is equal to under aesthetic aes x equal to date y is equal to speed kmph fill equal to experiment underscore type and with geom underscore bar use the static equal to identity and position equal to dodge so it will plot in dodge form now now we want to change the color based on some palette or inbuilt palettes okay plus with with giving plus in next line scale underscore fill underscore brewer use the function scale underscore fill underscore brewer and inside that use the palette argument equal to inside quotation pastel one it is a inbuilt uh, uh, color combination if you use that color combination and press control enter then you will see that now it is pastel here okay and the color combination is changed based on pastel one combination you can change the color based on uh, manual uh, preference like say i want to plot the first one for every first bar red and second bar is blue so up to this point is same and here instead of scale underscore fill underscore brewer i'm using scale underscore fill underscore manual and inside that i'm giving the values so values equal to under vector first is red and second is blue if you press ctrl enter then it will convert the color to red 
and blue and along with it also changed the uh, legend colors okay sometimes we don't want that legend at all to remove that legend under that scale underscore field underscore manual you can use this after giving the values of red and blue color use a comma and give the guide equal to false when you put the guide equal to false it will remove out that legend so press control enter so now the legend has gone okay so thanks for watching in next uh, in next video uh, i will talk about how to adjust uh, the bar width and how to adjust or label that data in your bar plot or stack plot okay so thanks for watching